I've been on the fence about this for some time now, but then YouTube goes and makes it easy for me. Yeah, I'm not going to live stream on YouTube anymore, and it's all their fault. Let's discuss. No longer streaming on YouTube has been something I've thought about for months now. If you aren't in the club, meaning if you aren't either part of the establishment media, ultra-woke or ultra-liberal, Google hates you straight up. Independent creators are no longer valued on this platform. Every new change seems geared specifically to hinder or inconvenience content creators like me in some way. Next year, they're coming for our notifications. Under the guise of protecting the children, YouTube will no longer send out subscription notifications for gaming channels. Gaming, as you might know, makes up 80% of YouTube's overall traffic. Oh, and they'll also be disabling comments, thus cutting us off from being able to engage with our audience. Now, they tried making a radical change before. Several weeks ago, YouTube tried to change the rules on what channels are eligible to receive the verification checkmark. After a fierce backlash, they reversed this decision. I've been taking a wait-and-see approach to this new assault, but so far I'm hearing silence from the independent creators. Either they don't know this is coming, or they just haven't grokked yet how badly this is going to screw us hardcore. I'm hoping that eventually independent creators start making some kind of noise about this before the year is out. If we yell loud enough, YouTube might back off. We are 80% of their traffic. If they lose the gaming channels, significant amounts of their ad revenue will go up in smoke. It isn't like we don't have places to go, either. There are alternatives to YouTube that actually do value independent creators. We have a safety net if we need to jump ship. So I'm really hoping independent creators open their eyes before this disaster hits. This isn't what made me decide to kick YouTube to the curb for live streaming, though. I received an email from them saying that a link in one of my videos violated their so-called community guidelines. I didn't get a strike. This was just a warning, but still it came at the wrong time. Basically, they pissed me off. That link was for Restream. Now, Restream is a service many independent creators use to stream content on multiple platforms at once. I've been using them for a long time now, and they generally work pretty well, and they even have OBS integration. But to say, something as harmless as the Restream.io URL somehow violates their community guidelines is complete BS. So I was already thinking about cutting YouTube out of live streaming entirely, and this just made that decision easier. Thanks, YouTube! Instead, I'll be streaming to Steam. Streaming to Steam is currently in beta, but Restream supports it, and I'm gonna give it a try. In the description below, you'll find the URL to my Steam page. To get notification for when I go live, follow me on Twitter at at the Zorch. Restream automatically tweets whenever I go live. I also have channels on Twitch and Mixer. You'll find the URLs there as well. I will still stream on YouTube for Gamers Bay, but not for Zort Central. In fact, I'll be streaming on Gamers Bay the nights of October 30th and 31st for Scaretober. Don't forget to check that out. It's kind of a tradition for us on Devil's Night and Halloween. Anyways, 
I've been Mike Desorch. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Namaste. Some Zort Central content is only available on LBRY at beta.lbry.tv slash at Zort Central colon E.